Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'd like to do an update video on my mining rig which I recently built in this Vancouver apartment. It's a dead of winter right now and it's doing an excellent job at heating this apartment. And in addition, I went out and purchased this new hardware. For example, I got this new motherboard and it can support up to 19 GPUs simultaneously. In addition, I purchased the new uh, RTX 3000 series video cards. For example, I got this one RTX 3070. It's a MSI Ventus edition. And hopefully with this new hardware, I can bring the hash rate way up to take advantage of the surge in cryptocurrency market. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. So first, here's me unboxing the RTX 3070. As mentioned, it's the Ventus edition by MSI, and I was particularly impressed at how small it is. It's roughly the same length as my Gigabyte 1660 Ti, and it's going to have double the mining power. Next off, here's me unboxing one of the GPU risers. As you can see, the blue cable connects to the PCI slot on the motherboard, and then the SATA cable there I'm connecting is for power. So right here is the ASUS B250 Mining Expert motherboard. It features an LGA 1151 socket for the CPU and as mentioned it has no shortage of PCI slots as you can see there. The seller was kind enough to include a stick of RAM as you can see there and in addition he also included a Celeron dual core processor by Intel. Alright guys, so after spending a couple of hours building the rig as well as troubleshooting, we finally have it completed now. You can see on Phoenix Miner, all the cards combined are at a hash rate of around 272 mega hash per second. And that's with conservative overclocks as well as thermal throttling at room temperature. You can see that the wall there is drawing around 900 watts on average. So with a combined hash rate of 272 mega hash per second and a power draw of 900 watts, that's a ratio of about 0.3 mega hash per second per watt, which is pretty good because again, these are budget cards. 
So basically in real life numbers at current prices, that's about 943 US dollars a month. Again, that's phenomenal because this is a relatively small mining rig and that's already a greater cash flow than if we were to rent out an entire suite in this apartment. Right here in this thermal imaging, you can see where the core heat is being generated. It is doing an excellent job at keeping this Vancouver apartment warm. This really gives a good representation of which components are drawing more power than the others. Obviously the cards that are producing more heat are drawing more power, hence they're mounting at a higher hash rate. You can see on MSI Afterburner here where I have the overclock set on each of the cards. First here are the settings for my 4 GTX 1660 Ti's on the rig. I was able to put the memory all the way up to plus 600 and yet have the power limit all the way down to 70%. That's because in particular these Gigabyte 1660 Ti's can run very stable with their Samsung memory. Next off we have the settings for the RTX 2070 on this rig. The lowest I could put the power limit on this one was 80%. That's because in contrast this is my most unstable card. Next off here are the settings for my two GTX 1660 Supers on the rig. I was able to have the power limit stable at 75% so this makes some pretty okay cards at mining. Finally here are the overclocks for my RTX 3070. As part of the new RTX 3000 series the memory can be overclocked very well for these new generation video cards. So down below here you can see the base components. It's using an SSD for the hard drive, a passive cooler on the CPU, as well you can see on the left there the power supply, it's a Corsair AX1500i which is titanium rated so it's one of the best on the market for efficiency. You can see in this thermal imaging how little heat is actually produced by that power supply, so that just proves how good it really is. So something that we thought was pretty important was to have this mining rig as unnoticeable as possible, even if that meant turning off all the LEDs on the video cards. So you can see right here we're using the MSI Dragon Center app to turn off the LEDs on the GTX 1660 Super. And you can see here after this adjustment, the LEDs on all the video cards are now turned off so it won't be noticeable in the dark. Anyway guys, I appreciate if you made this far in the video. I had a lot of fun upgrading this device to two shelves. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how this monitor is mounted in the middle right here. And then we have two video cards at the top left right there. So in total we have eight GPUs as well as a Wi-Fi connector uh, connected to a ninth PCI slot on this miner now. I mean, once you get to this many PCI connectors, it can get a bit frustrating because uh, Again, Windows isn't really designed to have this many connected all at once, especially on a cellular on CPU. However, we managed to get it all working in the end. Uh, the Wi-Fi is up and running nice and well, and as well, the eight GPUs are connected. Uh, we did have to also raise uh, virtual memory to 75 gigabytes. So please keep in mind, if you want to have a hard drive like this, you'll need a, a storage of at least 120 gigs or more. But other than that, uh, it is, like I said, running top notch and uh, hopefully this will be able to run for the next six months without requiring any maintenance. And the last thing I want to mention is I do welcome any ideas for improvements, so feel free to leave that in the comments section in this video. Uh, but anyway, I wish you all the best luck in your future mining builds. Goodbye now.